Hello, my Libras, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie, and I'm reading for March 3rd through the 9th. Now, I've done my overview. We're not doing a new moon because the new moon actually comes up on the 10th at 5 a.m. Eastern Time. So we're kind of there, but I, I, we're going to do the new moon next time around. Now, remember, these are general readings. May or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, my Libras. Yes, and I've done my overview. And I actually have some new cards, so go to the overview. Um, we are, we're ready for the changes, something like that. And see what the new cards are about, too. Anyway, my Libras, oh my gosh. You know what? You, you've been in that south node and you're trying to make so much sense of so many things in the past. Uh, you know what I'm going to say, my Libras? Oh my gosh, you're not going to be able to make sense of it all. So let's move on a little bit. I'm not saying you ever forget that past, but I am saying don't carry it with you anymore. And that takes a lot of strength to do. It takes a lot of strength to leave the past in the, pre in the past and move on. You're more than ready. So uh, what I'm getting is kind of like, you know, oh, you know, maybe, I, you know, maybe you've gone to school and you had some hard time with grades and stuff like that, and you didn't necessarily do the as well as you wanted, but you got there. You got through it, or you're getting through it. You know what? Nobody has to be perfect when they graduate, okay? So I'm kind of getting this, uh, oh, the Empress is popping up for you. It was it was reversed, so I like that energy, especially for Libra's giftings. So don't don't get yourself, you know, don't get yourself all wind, wound up with this. You are ready. You were meant, you were meant to move forward. I get a very much an eight of Earth energy around you saying, yeah, you might have to do a little more studying, you might have to do a little more preparation, but don't, you know, Enough is enough waiting. It's enough to, you know, enough waiting. Take your steps. Do it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Woo. Again, you know, okay. That was a little bit bold. Anyway, let's go on. Take your steps. Take your step. Take your step. The Empress is there. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else do you have for my Libras? What else is there for my Libras? Those were some strong words. Remember, don't quit a job until you have a job. It's easier that way. Okay, let's go on. Take what you like. Leave the rest. All right, here we go. Uh, three cards are face down. Let's see what we have for my Libras. Again, this is the one that flipped and came out. It was reversed. Major Arcana, three, three, celebration, creation, the power of three. Now, we're in the waning part of the moon, so get rid of the junk whether that be physical or metaphysical. And then on the 10th, we, become, we have that new moon for that new start. The Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is the divine messenger, brings hope, brings possibilities. Okay, maybe maybe tells you that the, that the travel is not going to be easy, but kind of helps, to, helps you to see the light at the end of that travel. The Empress is Holy Spirit energy, very much also Mother Mother Earth energy too. I know not quite the you know the the priestess is very um, the high priestess is very Holy Spirit, but the Empress is taking that next step. So she's she's taking the uh, metaphysical part, the things that she knows, and she's put making applications with it. She is putting it into an application now. Mercury, we, um, what did I say? Mercury was in, was in Pisces. Uh, it was doing something in the overview. And Mercury, I really connect with Libras on that. I know it's not, it's not supposed to be, I don't think. Uh, you're more with the Venus, uh, more with Venus. But, you know, Mer Libra's brains are very, very quick. Uh, very much hearing news type of thing. And so something go on, something going on with the Mercury part. But when Mercury's retrograde, which it is not... Um, I do feel like there's a lot of things that get tied up. I mean, a lot of unfinished business that gets finished, okay? I feel like this is, I feel like some of that unfinished business needs to be left alone, and you just need to say, I'm not going to finish it. I am now free of that unfinished business, okay? Anyway, I don't know if that made sense, but that was what was coming. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. And, you know, usually the empress is a lot of times is pregnant, but here she is. 
She is very maternal, very mothering. Here we go. The Ace of Water, a new start, a new emotional experience. You are you know, you may feel it, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I haven't done everything. No, no, no. Take the step. Take the step, my Libras. Again, Ace is a one, new beginning, new start. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, spiritual energy, loving energy. This is kind of like a, this is like a, um, a heart awakening, a heart awakening for you. This is kind of a, I need to go this drought. I, I, it's just what I need to do. Now, the Ace of Water could be a new emotional, could be a, you know, falling in love. Now, it does not mean that you're going to, you know, leave your partner or nothing like that, but it could be this, I'm just feeling such love. Or it could be if you don't have a partner that this new partner comes in. It's an emotional awakening for you. It's a heart awakening. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying not to, I'm going to hold my hand. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition. A new home. Here we go. Next card. Seven of fire. So seven is what I call, you know, literally what I call it is the God umbrella. Seven is divine umbrella, divine covering. Um, you know, even though it might be raining, it might be lightning, everything, you're still, there is some protection, even though you feel like you're going through some storms. Fire is our Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. It, it Aries, your mirror, pushing you forward and saying, get out, my Libras. It's time, you know, you've, you've stayed long enough in that past. You know what? You've been, maybe, you, maybe you've been trying to reconcile and you still got some time in this node thing. Um, but you know what? You still have to move forward. You still have to look to that future. So the seven of fire, again, there is protection, passionate, burning, determined, committed energy. Stand your guns. Stand up for yourself. Do not, do not, you know, this is really believe your, in, your, in yourself. Believe in your mission. Believe in your destiny. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. But choose your battles wisely. Okay? Yes, we don't have to always make, you know, everybody does, you know, just, just because we know what we need to know doesn't mean that they're going to be in agreement. So move on, move on from them, okay? Okay, let's go on. Higher power and Holy Spirit. What else is there for my, my lovely, lovely Libras? What else do we have for our Libras? What else do we have for our Libras? What else do you have for our Libras? Here we go. Ooh, you know, I love her. I absolutely love her. She's, a, okay, zero, God, source, energy, new beginning, the fool card, the dreamer card. I absolutely love this woman. In fact, um, Kathea got me a poster of her. I, oh, I have it in my booth. I have it in my booth um, at my place. Anyway, I love her. I look at her, and she is. she just fills me with awe. Here she is. Okay, we're going to look at the peace and the determination on that face. She's got her little purse. She is about to walk through the world, and yet she's got these flimsy little sandals. She does have her stick. She does have her purse, her little purse. She really doesn't have a backpack or anything. She feels that she's a warrior. She's put on, like, the headbands, the two headbands. And at the same time, I'm always with her. I always think, and... She needs a new bra, but it does not matter. She may be as unprepared in this world as many of us feel, but she is on her mission. She is on her mission. I love that woman. New beginning, leap of faith, just kind of like sometimes you just got to do what, you, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. Angels of abundance. Angels of abundance. Here we go. What else is there for my Libras? What else is there? Taking a leap of faith. But, yeah, but it's, again, it's about taking that, it's taking that step, taking that journey. It's like you're not going to be able to reconcile everything to your total liking, my Libras. And it's keeping you from moving forward. Here we go. Reversed. Oh, exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Very true on that. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. 
and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. So it kind of says like, you know, you got to get moving, my. You have to get moving. You have to start moving. Okay. Now these are, let's see, these are the new cards. You can tell me if you like them or not. Um, let's see. Crystal or energy? Because I, you know, normally it's every other week and everything. I pull out my Moonology cards, whichever deck I'm going to be using, but not this time around. Here we go. Higher power and Holy Spirit. All right. Oh, we got two. We got a couple of cards that have popped for you. So when they pop, we need to do them. Now, the two, the two top ones are reversed, so I'm going to make them right. So here we go. The first one, selenite. Selenite, very cleansing energy. Helps to bring peace. Works with your crown chakra. Your crown ch you know, chakra systems, there's all over your body, under, around you, aura type, you know, but the main ones that people t talk about is from one to seven, Seven being um, the more celestial one, the connection to God, to connection to heaven. We have that seven again, right? We had a seven. We have a three. You can add three plus seven together, becomes a ten. One, new beginning, zero, God source energy. Selenite. So you have some selenite. Helps to bring some peace. And that, you know, when you're, when you're doing something you're not used to doing, my Libra, sometimes you just need to know, I'm doing what I need to do. And maybe that, oh, this one came out. It's funny to see this twice because these are these are cards I haven't really used. But this one just came out um, and I think it was Pisces got this. Okanite. Okanite, if I'm saying that right, three zero. You got that three again. Zero God energy again. It's an it's interesting. Um, Crystals and Curiosity has these, I believe. And if I'm thinking of the right ones, because they look like it, they they like feel like cotton, but you should not be touching them. Okay, talks about all the chakras, connects with all your chakras to help to cleanse, align, to help to keep them working properly. Also, it deals with past life patterns. Remember, you are trying to make some life. You are trying to make some sense with that south node of the past. So, you know, past life could be, you know, and I, I think I said okay, um, Akeshic records. It could be ancestors. It could also be something that you need to reconcile in this life, too. So interesting with that. And then this one, Noah, oh my goodness, 10. You've got a lot of that one zero energy going on. Sarusite, 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 travel, root chakra, and crown chakra. So we talked about the crown chakra. You know, it's kind of the up and down, the escalator with God source. I'm sending my messages. A lot of times they come through here, um, the third eye, but you know, you can get the up and down type of thing, Jacob's ladder type of thing, angels going up and down. Root chakra, very physical. So you're going from the very physical, your safety, all the way to your metaphysical. I do not, um, and, it's, and they're, they're bringing up some, some of the uh, crystals that I don't even know about. So, Sarusite, 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 Sarusite. So, travel, travel. Okay, we're going to do Dream Oracle cards. Uh, kind of give me a Pandora um, vibe. And, you know, and when everything had left, nothing was left but hope. But hope. So, let's see, gift. Gift, well, I kind of like maybe that is the hope, hope. Be, be present. Be in the now. Stop looking back, my Libras. Be present. Get those eyes looking forward. Interesting vibrations for you. Let me know. Let me know if you like the cards, too. Give me a thumbs up. Don't do a thumbs down on any of it. But, you know, let me know in the comments. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications, my Libras. You know you help me so much, and I always appreciate all your support, so thank you. If you're watching me on Rumble, a Rumble me. Most important part, and as always, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.